Yannick Sinner versus Andre Rublev is the first quarter final for the men's Cincinnati Open for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Rublev entered the tournament as the number six seed, and we're gonna buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Zhang, but there's no problem getting through in straights. 6-4-6-3. In the third round, he'd take on Nakashima, the wild card who'd taken out Fritz in the first round. And after a close first set, he'd get through in straights. 7-6-6-1 to advance to the quarterfinals. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we're gonna buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Mickelson, and after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6-4-7-5. In the third round, he'd take on Thompson, who had taken out Umber and Baez along the way. But unfortunately, Thompson had an injury and would not be able to play handing Sinner the walkover to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played eight times before with Sinner leading 5-3 in the head-to-head, -head, including a match last week in Canada in the same stage quarterfinals with Rublev getting a win. So very fun to see a rematch one week later after Rublev finally got that win after a three-match losing streak to the same guy. If Rublev's going to win this one, he needs to do what he did against Sinner last week. Keep his cool and play aggressive. He's been playing so well over the last couple of weeks, especially last week making the final of Canada. But he's got to keep his cool if he's going to beat Sinner again. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to get off to a better start than he did against Rublev last week. He also looked a little bit out of sorts last week against Rublev. He'd never technically lost to Rublev. He'd had retirement losses. He kind of looked at a little bit out of it last week. So he's got to be good and onto it. And also having the extra day off after not having to play Thompson should do him some good as well. Love this matchup. I love that we're getting a rematch one week later. It kind of reminds me of Paul Alcaraz last year when they played back-to-back -back tournaments, but I have to go with Sinner in this one. If Sinner's playing healthy, I think he's going to beat Rublev probably in three sets again. I'll give Rublev a set, but I reckon Sinner's going to be a little bit better and a little bit healthier than he was last week and should get the win in three, but let me know in the comments below who's winning this rematch.